So uh, the storm is degrading. It's top winds of 50 miles per hour. It's five miles to the westerly portion of westerly Rhode Island, where it made landfall today, and that was at 12:15. Now the storyline is really not so much the track anymore. It's the intensity of the bands of the rain and the flood advisory until 3:30. You can see it across Queens and Nassau County and Brooklyn. You got a, again a flood advisory in Morris County. These pop-ups are going to last for a while, and you could see again the potential storm surge has been lessened. This is good news, okay? One or two feet, one or two feet across the sound, and uh, that puts us out of danger in terms of uh, the surge. What to expect now? Heaviest rain before roughly uh, 11 p.m. My man Mike Leona on it. It tapers off Monday morning. It's a good sign. And Tuesday, sunny temperatures are going to be in the 80s. Henri is uh, an interesting deal in that even though it's degrading, and those of you who follow weather when tropical systems get over cool water, they do degrade. There's still bands of heavy rain that we got to deal with. So please keep that in mind as uh, as we go through this process. And I think flooding will be around for the next 12 hours or so. Now remember the amount of rain we've had in the tri-state area, anywhere from 5 to 10 inches. So the table's full and saturation is a problem and the runoff is a problem and urban and highway flooding is a problem. And as you notice here, okay, this banding is right across the city. If we can only get a little lift and push it out a little bit to the north, we can get out of this heaviest banding. We're upgrading this as we go along. A city close to a half a foot, five inches. Brooklyn at six and a half inches. Respect the flood zones. Any warnings that come out in your area, please respect the information. New Jersey, Jamesburg, eight and a half inches. Colts Neck, 4.57. And you can see again the rainfall amounts in the NAM and the GS. FS doing very well with this system.